Hey, YouTubers. So we're under the 1999 Chevy Rusterado or Silverado and uh, redoing the brakes. Um, okay, we're looking at the back right side of the passenger side in America. And I've already done that corner just to kind of figure it out. And you can see the new rotor on there. And you can see the nice shiny new brake line running all the way over to here. Um, so now it's time to do this left rear corner and put everything in. So we've got this line in and we've got the new hose in up to there. And you can kind of see the old line, the rusty old line hanging. So. What we're going to do is get this thing off and apart and uh, get the new components on, get the new line on, tighten it up, and hopefully we get it done before it rains. So here we go. She's not gonna go. So now we get to use my favorite tool. They do get stuck sometimes, just run them back on, get some unstuck and run them back out again. Talk about a rust bucket. Alright, so now I got that part off. Okay, rusty old cars. There's a few things you absolutely need. One is an impact gun. One is a breaker bar. I taped up that handle so I don't beat my hands up all the time. But I've gotten smarter about that since using the, uh, the impact gun. I'm just going to loosen up that uh, bolt. Now you don't have to loosen up both these bolts. Um, the bolts I'm loosening up right now, you just have to really do the bottom one. And it's for the sliding pins um, that hold the caliper onto the caliper bracket. And let's get this, if we can. There we go. And you just turn it up like that and you can pull it off. Now, I'm not going to do that right away, and I'll show you why. Okay, here's the hard line that I took off already. Very rusty, both ends broke off when I was trying to take it off. I'll give you the measurements on this and everything at the end, but it just it went on like that and uh, one of these was screwed in. They just straight up broke off. The threads came out, but the tube was rusted to the, to the flare nut, so it just broke as I turned it. This is only 3 16th line, so it's fairly weak. 
Now back here, the hose right here that runs from the caliper, the banjo fitting, out to here, it's onto this bracket. It's just a little sheet metal bracket. Um, there's two things. There's a clip on here that needs to come off. And I'm just going to use a plain old screwdriver to get that off. These factory hose clips are just freaking annoying. Yeah, I bent the bracket. It's not really a big deal. Um, okay, they're hard to get off because there's almost nothing to grab onto because they're doubled back on themselves. Typical dumbass GM engineering. You're going to hear me say a lot of bad things about General Motors because I've really pretty much had it with their trucks. I've only owned General Motors trucks and I think this will be the last one because I've had it with rust. Um, there it goes. Okay, that's the clip and I was able to get in there more with a Phillips screwdriver. This one, the flat was just a little too big to really get down in there. And I just came in in the corner like this and just pried the hell out of it, got it off. Okay, so now we've got this fitting on the bracket, but it's not coming off the bracket because it's all rusted. Don't do this. You won't do anything. What you want to do is hit it sideways like this on the hose side. And you know, of course, I went to get new, I thought, well, I'll just buy new brackets here. No big deal. It'll be just a few bucks. Can't buy them. They're unobtainium. The guy at the dealer actually told me, well, they consider these part of the frame. What? They're not even on the frame. Dumbass GM dealer. Okay, so what you do is you hit them sideways. This way, down. I'm going to go down. You may have to hold them. Usually this works. Since I'm recording it, it won't. See, the problem with getting this out is this bracket is so flexible, it just absorbs the hammer, hammer blows. I mean, I can, this way it won't do anything. I tried that. You gotta hit it that way, and then somehow it will end up coming out. Okay, I'm gonna try to get a grip on this thing. and hit it and hopefully <coughs> there we go yep there it goes you see a gap there that's it that's all it needed all right we got it out it's just a little bit of rust you know it's holding it steady with the vice grip that's really what did it okay so now we got that out so now we take this out, and there will be a boot. I'm just going to take you over here and show you this part by hand. Um, okay, there's a rubber boot right here. That hose out of there. And you just need to pull that off from the bracket right there and then when you push it it just comes right out with the uh, caliper or you could take it off the caliper side too it really kind of doesn't matter and you just get it out and there it is the caliper is totally off okay <clears throat> okay so that's that now we just need to take out the pads 
pads actually look decent, so I'm going to reuse those, clean them up a bit, but they look okay. One of the pads on the other side, this groove down the middle, was totally filled up with crud, and it was just one of them. Couldn't figure out how that happened. It was harder than how to clean that out. Really a pain in the butt. Okay. Okay, the next thing we have to do is take off the caliper bracket. And I know the lighting is screwy, but that's this part right here. It's held on by two bolts, one here, one here. And you gotta take these two out. And normally these two are a bear to take out. So yeah, first thing we'll try is the old breaker bar. Oh, you know what? Gotta get the right <laughs> Gotta get the right socket. Okay, got the right socket on the breaker bar. It's an 18 mm breaker bar. No freaking way. Not even, not even a chance. You know, I suppose you could put a cheater on this thing, but I've only got this jacked up. I don't have any room to spin anything. I don't have room for that stuff. And well, we have an impact gun, so let's use that. Okay, there's no way the impact gun is gonna fit in here. Everything's in the way, the suspension fuel tank. So I got all that stuff on the end, and those are wobble extensions and a U-joint extension. And let's see if I can do this one-handed. Get that on, get it up in there, and you can kind of see how it's done. And no way, I'm just getting showered with, with rust. This thing doesn't have what it takes. Okay, what are we gonna do next? That's what we're gonna do next. Hey, that's what I like to hear. The bottom one is being stubborn, but the top one, which is the one I was using the electric on, came right out. Let's hit the bottom one a little more. There it goes. God, I love this tool. Ah, this tool is awesome. This tool, oh yeah. You don't know how much time I've spent knocking on, hammering on, heating, and everything else. These stubborn rusted bolts. And I get one of these guys, and all of a sudden, boom, just comes right off. Freaking amazing. Okay, next we gotta get this old rotor off. And I can tell you this thing's rusted on solid. I could pound on this with a regular hammer. I could pound on this with a two or three pound hammer. Um, it would go nowhere. The easy way to do it is this guy, the octopus. The five ton hydraulic octopus. And all you do is get this guy set up. Right here back around a little bit. Get it right in to the middle. There's a nice little depression there, all ready for me. Get these hooks on, and then just get it tightened up. Um, this back part turns, put the handle in, and rock and roll. That's all it takes. Forget about your torches. 
Forget about your PB blaster. Forget about your big freaking hammer so you're sounding like Buddhist monk or something. Just buy yourself one of these. It's like that air impact crunch. It just makes life so damn nice. It's civilized. It's like working on an old truck in a civilized manner. Okay, so let's see what we have here. What we have here is a piece of junk. Junk. This is a hub. Wheel bearings way down back in there. These are your e-brake or parking brake, depending on what you want to call them. It's just an old drum style brake. And you can see this thing's just rusted to hell. Um, the whole bottom here is just is missing. I don't know if you can see it, but you shouldn't be able to see through there. There should be stuff there. It's fallen off. I'm not going to replace it because GM in their stupid engineering requires you to like take everything apart. I think you got to start with a radiator or something. This is the parking brake cable right here. Pull on that. It applies the parking brake right here. Um, just mechanically pushes them out. Um, and that's that's really about all you got to know about this thing. There's that bracket. Not a big deal. Compared to the rest of this thing, this bracket looks good. Um, the rotor's right there. Rotors nowadays you can't really turn. They don't put enough material on them to allow them to turn anymore or get turned down. Uh, so it's pretty much a replacement job. So let's take this over to my rotors. Oh yeah, here's my pile of rotors. I think I've been doing brakes lately. Add that thing down. There's the other brake line. I'll talk about that in a bit.